Psychological Sonic Weapons Some weapons are not designed to kill or maim the enemy, but rather to instill fear. If done effectively, frightened soldiers no longer wish to fight, but instead flee the horrors of combat. A key component often built into these weapons of fear is the noise they create, with many specifically designed to trigger psychological effects simply through intense or unsettling noise. In turn, they prey on human susceptibility to intense auditory overstimulation and psychological reaction. Number 1. Aztec Death Whistle in 1999, an archaeological discovery in Mexico City revealed what may in fact have been one of the earliest examples of a sound-based weapon. While excavating a temple dedicated to Ehecat, the Aztec wind god, archaeologists found a sacrificed skeleton of a young man who in his hands was holding two whistles. It was assumed the whistles were there to imitate the winds of the underworld. Researchers soon labeled these unusual finds as the Aztec Death Whistle. As archaeologists continued to piece together information about the whistle and how it was used, other theories of its use in combat began to arise. It's likely that these weren't just instruments used during human sacrifices, because given the horrifying scream it produced in reconstructions, it may have been used as a weapon of war. The death whistle is categorized as an air spring type of whistle, with earlier versions having been found from the Mayans. In the case of the Aztec death whistle, it sounds like someone being flayed alive. When we imagine the image of thousands of Aztec warriors marching into battle, armed with spike clubs and spears and blowing these death whistles, it's easy to see just how effective this object could have been in terrorizing the enemy. Number 2. The Trumpets of Jericho – Stuka Sirens When referencing the German Air Force of World War II, Junkers Ju-87 are perhaps one of the first aircraft that come to mind being one of the most notable and well-recognized aircraft of the entire war. The famous Stuka dive bomber and ground attack aircraft was used during the Spanish Civil War as part of the German Condor Legion, and during the early years of World War II as part of Germany's Blitzkrieg tactics. The Battle of Britain soon revealed the drawbacks of the Stuka bombers, of which the most important was its considerably low speed, making it incompatible for air-to-air -air combat. As the war went on and with German air supremacy faltering, the Stuka's role in the war similarly gradually declined. However, for one key reason, the Junkers Ju-87 remained a symbol of the Blitzkrieg. All those who faced the aircraft remember one thing about them, the noise they made. Stukas were built with an interesting feature installed on their fuselage. There were two propeller-driven sirens attached to the undercarriage legs at 2.3 feet in diameter. When the aircraft would enter a dive, the siren would produce a loud screaming sound. As the diving speed increased, the noise intensified. The sirens were symbolically therefore named the Trumpets of Jericho. Ironically, the enemy soldiers were not the only ones affected by the sirens. German pilots found them disturbing too, especially while conducting a complicated diving procedure. Another drawback was that the sirens actually decreased the speed by between 10 and 20 miles per hour, or 20 to 25 kilometers an hour. Eventually, the sirens were withdrawn from use, but the trumpets of Jericho remained a prominent symbol of the war. Number 3. Stalin's Organs – BM-13 Katusha The BM-13 Katusha's use as a sound-based weapon was accidental and was never designed with psychological effects in mind. It was an innovative artillery weapon with a devastating destructive force. However, the sound it produced was so haunting that it instilled fear across ranks of the opposition. Officially called the BM-13, the Katusha was conceived based on the order of the Soviet Scientific Research Institute III to create a rocket launcher on a truck chassis for launching aircraft rockets upon ground targets. Designed under top secrecy, the weapon was first used in 1941 against German trains at Orsha railway station with brutal efficiency. Early reports of its first uses by Red Army commander Andrei Yeremenko described how the rockets, quote, soared up like comets with a red tail and then exploded with a crash like thunder. The effect of the bursts of 320 rockets within a span of 26 seconds in a very limited area exceeded all expectations. The Germans ran away in panic and terror. 
Admittedly, our own troops withdrew likewise. For security reasons, we had not informed them beforehand about the use of the new weapon." End quote. The Soviets soon nicknamed the weapon Katusha, most likely after the famous patriotic wartime song. The Germans, too, had a nickname for the weapon, Stalin's Organs. This was inspired by the loud hissing sound from the incoming rockets, which terrified German troops. Its distinct sound became synonymous with the chaos it would bring. Just one salvo from four Katushas lasted between 7 and 10 seconds and detonated 4.35 tons of high explosive across a 10-acre area. Conclusively, Katusha was a mighty weapon with dual effectiveness. It brought destruction and created mass fear simultaneously. Number 4. Wandering Soul During the U.S.-Vietnam War, the Vietnamese believed that when a person died, the body must be buried where they were born, or their soul would forever wander the netherworld. American soldiers working at a South Vietnamese radio station in 1964 saw an opportunity to exploit this belief, and so a series of ominous sounds and voice recordings were created. With the help of South Vietnamese soldiers who imitated the wandering souls of fallen Viet Cong soldiers, these were compiled into the most well-known recording, Ghost Tape No. 10. The recording starts with Buddhist funeral music, followed by the howling sounds of a man in agony. Next, a voice of a little girl calls for her father, a fallen soldier, to come home. This is followed by a distant and echoed voice of her father responding, looking for his loved ones. Finally, the voice of the dead soldier addresses his comrades, telling them he died a senseless death and that he ended up in hell. The recording ends with a message, Go home, my friends, before it's too late, followed by the groans of a man tormented in hell. The operators were instructed to refrain from playing the tape when in proximity of allied South Vietnamese soldiers, out of fear it may affect them as well. The success of Operation Wandering Soul was questionable. Viet Cong soldiers quickly realized what they were hearing was a recording, and in turn they used it to locate the enemy's position and aim their fire. As a result, the operation was canceled by 1971. This was not to say that further recordings were not used, such as another recording of a tiger growl also played through loudspeakers. Number 5. Long Range Acoustic Device LRAD the LRAD, or long-range acoustic device, is often placed in the family of modern sonic weapons. Although its original designers, the American Technology Corporation in 2003, denied it was a weapon, it is nevertheless effectively a sound cannon that can be used to injure, repel, or incapacitate one's target. Its two main abilities are voice amplification for communication over long distances and emitting an alert tone. The alert tone can reach 160 decibels, about 40 decibels louder than the volume of a jet engine taking off. Such a loud sound can cause pain, disorientation, nausea, migraines, and even hearing damage. Police units often use such devices as the LRAD to control large crowds, often during protests. The weapons are relatively small and can therefore be mounted onto vehicles such as automobiles, helicopters, and patrol boats. There are numerous reports of the successful use of LRAD as a sonic weapon coming from countries across the globe. One particularly notable case comes from the Israeli Defense Forces, who used sonic weapons to break Palestinian protesters. U.S. forces have also used them in Iraq, dispersing crowds from locations known to be terrorist targets. Other uses for the weapon include fitting them to cargo ships as protection against pirates. Wherever and however used, it's one of the few modern examples of a powerful and non-lethal sound-based weapon.